Barbara Bush said, you don't luck into things as much as you'd like to think you do. You build step by step, whether it's friendships or opportunities. Barbara Bush's wisdom's renowned, of course, uh, and I completely agree with her. What is interesting is, is that, you know, we, we've all heard the butterfly fla- effect, right? The butterfly flaps his wings and uh, it moves molecules of air into motion. And um, so many uh, days or months or years later on the other side of the world, that has built up and becomes a hurricane, right? Uh, but what's interesting is our life actually does work that way. Uh, sometimes things happen to us that feel like they were coincidence or chance, and really they are the result of um, unintended consequences of you push something, and it took a while for the dominoes to go around through the design and come back and hit you, positively or negatively. But we do really reap what we sow, how you treat people, how you interact with people, um, You know, whether you try to screw people around, whether you just tell them the truth, you know, all of that. Whether you're kind, whether you're generous, whether you're selfish, uh, these things, you know, whether you work hard, whether you uh, steal from your employer and then can't figure out why you can't get a promotion. Isn't that amazing? By the way, if you come in late and you don't work while you're at work, did you know you're stealing? But then wonder why you can't get ahead. Isn't that weird? That's weird. People wonder. You ever hear people, oh, I can't get ahead. And, you know, I can't get ahead. They whine and walk around with their lips stuck out. And, and, and then they, you know, well, yeah, you can't get ahead. Because, you know, hey, you ought to maybe try it like having a little energy, smiling, working while you're at work. And uh, actually adding more value than you cost. And guess what? People will notice you. And if your employer doesn't notice you and appreciate you, someone else will and steal you. I will never forget the first time I saw this happen. I wrote this in one of the books years ago. I don't remember which one, but my mom and dad, I was, I was probably 13 years old or 12 years old or something like that. I might've been 15, somewhere around in there in my teens. We went to what we thought was a nice steakhouse and it was a pretty nice steakhouse. And we had a lady that waited our table and it was not, this is not a cheap place. This was a decent place. For us, at least, growing up, it was a high-end place. I had a white tablecloth, so shut up, you know. And, and the lady weighing the table was over the top. I mean, she was not bothering us, but she the service level and her smile and just her presence was just amazing. My dad owned a real estate company, and you know what he did? He talked her into coming and getting a real estate license. He hired this lady from the steakhouse, and she became a million-dollar seller back in the 70s because, you know, they weren't paying her what she was worth because you can't make what she was worth waiting tables. She was worth a lot more than that because of the, what she brought to the table, but, but literally and figuratively and symbolically and metaphorically and everything else there, okay? But, I mean, you see what I'm saying? When you add more value in a place even than you are is is necessary to quote do the job unquote if if they can't or won't pay you there someone will steal you and give you that opportunity you don't luck into things as much as you'd like to think you do you build step by step whether it's friendships or opportunities barbara bush hey guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show Thank you.